there was a wonderful man in Germany, Hans Ulrich Schmidt, who was a music agent, just starting, young, but he loved the Academy, what he heard of them. And he was brave enough to take us on a tour. And the first thing he did was say, you'll have to change the name, it's too long on the poster. So Neville said, but, but it's our name. No, you will have to change it. So he called us the London Strings, which they hated because it sounded like Mantovani. <laughs> <laughs> but they started the tour and just then we released the records on Handel, the first Handel of three big records of Concerti Grossi. And Hansel Rick said, oh dear, I made a mistake. Your reputation is made by these recordings and you can be the Academy of St Martin in the Fields, however big the poster has to be. Were there embarrassments about such a name? I mean, it is a very odd name. I mean, people who live in London know what St Martin in the Fields is, but what else did that mean? Well, that was Thurston Dart, actually. But, I mean, the vicar said, we'd like St Martin's in your name. Now, you obviously are on the way, so we'd like St Martin's. And Neville didn't want to be just the Chamber Orchestra of St Martin's or something. They've played around with names. And then Bob Dart said, look, in the 18th century, there were groups of like-minded people who met, who called themselves academies. There would be an academy for the doctors, an academy of literature. There was probably even an academy of coal merchants. And they met together, the men, and had, like a club but they discussed serious subjects. Sure, they had a drink or two as well. But, and he said, well, you're people meeting together for pleasure to make music, so why not be the Academy of St Martin in the Fields? And in the Fields must have baffled quite uh, a few people. It baffled some Americans. There were some very funny reviews. There was a very lovely one from San Francisco who said, gee, this cruel man, I think, in making those poor <laughs> players out in the open air in that dreadful English weather. <laughs> so it did, but there are still people who come to the church saying, can we study at the academy? How do we get in? Mm. 